All right, so today I wanted to address a question that's been recently raised by one of our customers. And it's a very valid question. So what he said was, uh, here, look, uh, great template. I love how it works, but I've just ran into a little problem here. In the scene settings, there's only 10 posts that I can add here, but I actually need 15 that I need to display in my presentation. So how do I add those five extra posts? Excellent question. And so today I'd like to take a couple of minutes here and show you an approach that I'd use. It's a bit of a hack, but uh, one thing I like about it is that uh, you could use the same logic to add as many posts as you want. Okay, so for this demo, I've created this quick scene uh, where we are displaying a number of different social posts with uh, various stats about them. So this could be a client presentation or an internal video created by an agency where they're showing the reach, the likes, and the comments that these uh, different posts got uh, during a campaign. So it's a nice little animation that could totally be a, a real project. And so now I have 10 posts set up here. Let's say for our example, I want to add another two uh, to have a total of 12. Unfortunately, the way the template is built is that it only allows for 10. So here's a little hack that we can use uh, to go around this. So floating posts. This is the scene that I'm using here. And let's rename it to presentation and part one. And I'm going to create another copy of it. So now I take both of them and I put them in a new comp. And I'm going to rename this to presentation full. So at the moment, we have two comps here that are exactly the same. And my idea is to use part one as it stands. But then in part two, I want to start on the last post of part one, which is post 10, and then continue on to posts 11 and 12. So for that, we'll need to create a cut on post 10. I trim part one, and then do the same with uh, part two. Next, let's set up the part two of our presentation. I open it, and I'm gonna do a little trick here where I leave number 10 exactly where it is, but I'm going to rename its marker as new number one. Then delete number one on this side, Move number two over here, and my number three marker somewhere here. And so now my camera will start on one, then go to two, and then three. But realistically, it's going to be my post 10, 11, and 12. Make sense? Okay, so let's get rid of these other ones since uh, we're not gonna be using them anymore. And next, uh, we go to our scene settings. And here I set my post one to start on post 10. And then the rest of them, let's set them to none. Good. And this should give me an error now as there's only one post. Okay, so what I'll do next is for my posts 11 and 12, I'm going to use post one and post two. Let's move them over here. And I'm gonna call this one post 11, and this one post 12. And then in my scene settings, I'm going to say I want my post two to be post 11, and this um, post 12. Okay, and so now in theory, this should all work. All right, good. And maybe I'll just bring them up a little forward. Okay, and so let's swap out this for stat for 11. And stats for 12. And I'll also swap out my two posts uh, with these comps that I pre-made earlier. 
Okay, and so now if we take a quick uh, look at it, this is my old post 10 and everything around it is exactly the same. And then over here, uh, after post 10, we have to, we go to 11. You can see that the post is 11 and the stats are also for 11. And then over here, we have post 12 and post 12. Uh, let's just preview this to make sure that we don't have any weird jumps. Okay, and so that's my post 10, 11, and post 12. Okay, and so if I go back to my full presentation, we can see that we have a clean cut here, and from post 10, our animation continues playing as part two. And so let me just preview this one last time to make sure that we have a seamless joint on that cut. All right, and there you go. We have a presentation with a total of 12 posts. As I said, it's a bit of a hack, but hey, it works uh, and it's pretty quick to create. And more importantly, it's a scalable solution, so you can use it to create as many posts as you want. All right, and that wraps up our tutorial. Um, thanks for watching and uh, till next time.